if your character that you voice act in My Hero Academia was your IRL age, what would be their uh, what would be their profession in your opinion? What would, besides what would, besides hero. What would be their what? Profession. Their profession. Oh, besides, Ida would be, besides yeah. besides hero. Oh, Ida would be a TSA agent. One hundred percent a TSA agent. <laughs> Like the worst one, the ones that yelling at everyone when there's like two people in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your shoes off, put them in the bin. Thank you. <laughs> nope, you set the alarm off. Go back, please. Face me this way. Like that's, yeah. The worst, the worst TSA agent. But he get you through pretty quickly. <laughs> She is an actress and writer whose body of work includes One Piece, Soul Eater, and Fairy Tale. Today, she joins us as the voice of the gigantification quirk wielding Mount Lady. Please welcome Jamie Marquis. He is an actor and director whose body of work includes Black Cover, Fire Force, and Dragon Ball. Today he joins us as the voice of the Dupli Arms Quirk using Mezzo Shoji. Please welcome Ian Sinclair. He is an, act he is an actor, scriptwriter, and ADR director whose body of work includes One Piece Attack on Titan and Black Butler. Today he is here as the voice actor between Engine Quirk brandishing, brandishing Tenya Ida. Please welcome Jane Michael Tandem. Tatum. Tatum. You said you were up. Do it. He is an actor and singer whose credits in include Final Fantasy VII. Yuri on Ice and Black Clover. Today he joins us to talk about giving voice to the narrator of One For All Quirk, Izuku Midoriya, better known as Deku. Please welcome Justin Briner. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for our announcing team! Yay. Oh, so cute. Ah. Ah, oh, friends, good to see everybody again. Howdy. Hello, hello. Good, good. How's, our, how's everybody's weekend been so far? Fantastic. Good. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Busy, busy, nice. Oh, busy yeah. is good. We like busy, don't we? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, uh, let's, I'll tell you, let's, let's do this. Uh, first and foremost, on behalf of the audience and everybody else, uh, I always have to say this. Thank you all for being a part of this amazing series. And one of the things that I, again, I keep loving about this show is that the lines between anime fandom and comic book fandom and par parallel lines, but this show has crossed the barriers. It has helped make anime fans into Western superhero fans and made Western superhero fans into anime fans. So thank you for being a part of this thing that bridges that gap. Yeah, it was all us. Yes, of all you're welcome. Us. <laughs> of course. So uh, let's throw this out. For each of you, what's been, the best, what's been the best thing for you about being a part of uh, Boku no Hero Academia? I mean, I want to say the, you know, artistic expression of a very unique and individual character, but the money's real nice. <laughs> so. I get to be on panels even though I say two words a season, so that's kind of like, <laughs> it convinces, comes, like, he's in my hair, I'm like, yeah, sure, sure. I, I gotta say, it's just fun playing a character who's basically me if I could run fast. Very validating. I feel so seen. <laughs> or run at all, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, anime's cool now. And like to be a small part of why that's happening is pretty rad, so thank you. A small part. <laughs> here. Here, 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 here. Mr. 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 Humble. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, I see. Justin yeah. gets a sour. I got straw, a treat. You'll get one. You'll probably get one eventually. All right, look. Are there rules to I this won game? that round. <laughs> Might be. Well, everybody asks a question. All right, uh, this is the inevitable My Hero question, so let's get it out of the way, and then I'll jump in the audience and take their questions. If you could pick your own quirk, what would you do? I would have the ability to learn everybody else's quirks. And everybody's going to say, you can't do that, because you can't wish for more wishes, but someone did first. <laughs> 
That's why they came up with the rule. That's me. <laughs> right. To get you all to call it mutations. I am an X-Men fan. It was called mutations for decades. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but it's that being said, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, what I'd like to, but though, if I could uh, right choose over. my mutation, it would be um, to be able to give long lasting inner peace and an acceptance of what is to somebody simply by looking at them. And uh, they get to keep that for a long time. Ew. Uh... <laughs> I want to be able to throw my farts. I learn it. I learn it. <laughs> like to like fart in my hand and throw it like a mile away and just ruin someone's day. I'm not saying I'd use it for good. Yeah. Oh my God. There I'd learn we it. go. I mean, I'd think how useful it. that would be. Like you could save so many friends from awkward conversations in bars to be like, oh God, excuse me, I gotta go. Like I'd be and like, you're welcome. I could learn it, and we could throw them back and forth. Oh. We could play fart. We could play fart volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just friendship. <laughs> also, it'd be great because you could like throw it like a ventriloquist, you know, and be like make someone else sounding like they're farting. Oh, like like so, someone's some it? jerk is giving a public speech, and you could just ruin it for them. They yeah, is like, the sound I separate? Should... And like no one could take them seriously anymore. Save the day. Is the sound separate from the smell? Can they be? Or do you? I mean, do you have that? I think I think control? a subset of that ability would be able to like the sound goes over here and the smell goes yeah. over there okay. if you want. Yeah, I like that. Or there's delay. Mm -hmm. Like maybe this maybe the smell first and then the sound just to throw people off. Do you have to see the space or can it go through like TV? Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think you and you can you should be able it's it's kind of like of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Line remote of remote viewing fart. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, world Justin. peace is nice too. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot to dig into there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I've developed a quirk in real life. It's called DoorDash. It sounds like that sounds like Ida just comes to your house. Uh -huh. food. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> yeah, no tip though. Uh, it's a little slow. Yeah, um, it's it's a powerful quirk. It it has a great hold over me, and uh, despite my wishing that it didn't exist, it does. And every midnight, I find uh, a new order at my door. I like Josh Greeley's, the ability to insert any USB at any point. Uh, that personally. was my joke. That was Ian's joke. That first. was my joke. I was, I was there. I used to live with Greeley. He took my joke. Sorry. Can I tell you what my response to I, Greeley was I'm, I'm with sorry, that yeah. joke? Yes, absolutely, was, please. Um, wouldn't better vision be a better option there? Shut up. No. Because you could just no, turn because, it. No, because it's all about just like, like when you're reaching around the computer being like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is it? Okay. Yeah. Like, or in the middle of the night, just yeah. Like. But you know what else would help with that is better vision. I can't also, see the behind minute, something. Let's be real. This uh -huh. is the real world. Could. The minute you cultivated that quirk, the, the the game would just change. Technology would go oh, completely yeah. wireless. All USB C. Yeah. It's all it, USB C now. And like, it's pointless. Oh, and I don't oh. need it anymore. It's like at some point, someone had the quirk of being able to set their VCR. <laughs> he can set any VCR at any point. Yeah. And then just one day, this is real sad, like, what? Oh, it's flashing Remote 12. Viewing, yeah. It's flashing 12. Let me fix that. Oh, he's so popular in the 80s. Where is he now? <laughs> All right. OK, but yeah, for the good vision, yeah, that deserves good that. Good. That deserves good. that. Good. Sorry. That is a good one. Yes, absolutely. Very much. Oh, <laughs> USB. It's Sunday. I'm so tired. <laughs> this is loopy actors, by the way. This is loopy. This is you get us on a Sunday, we're, we're like, like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Friends, thank you for indulging in my capricious curiosity. I'm going to jump out here and take some questions course, to this amazing great, audience. Yeah, thank right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. That's Appreciate awesome. you. <laughs> yep, thank you as well. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Um, Zoe. My question is, is, out of all the seasons that you've recorded, what is your favorite moment that you've recorded? Two. Uh, two. Because <laughs> Ida gets to do things. Oh. Woo! I love when Ida gets to do things. Uh, that was a great arc, though. I just love the stain arc. is is extraordinary. Next season, because I, I, I think I do something next season. <laughs> I, I hear, but I've been lied to before. I mean, they want to hear from you, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I like season six a lot. Um, it was pretty heartbreaking and, and horrible, and I'm, I really love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would say two things. Two, teaching the marketing skills was really fun. But booty incoming, it's a great time. <laughs> I didn't do anything but go, uh, 
when I landed. <laughs> but it's been very rewarding. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Hi. What's your name? I'm Kat. So Hi, Kat. First of all, thanks. I've met almost all of you, I think, this weekend. Ian, I'm sorry I haven't met you yet. Ah. Um, wow. So you all have a great body of work. Um, which character do you relate to the most? Who is most like you? It's it's hard I, it's hard for me to answer because I think the, I think of my characters as different facets of me, so they're all me in some respect. It's just me in a circumstance that I wouldn't normally be in. But I think it sounds like a, a, a cheat answer. But I, I definitely sometimes Ida is so much like me. He does things that I do and makes choices I would make that I'm like, did the did the manga call like follow me around? and like observe me from the shadows and just cause sometimes like I'm like even the pose, I'm like, oh, I've done that. Like I'll be recording and Colleen, uh, the director would be like, she'll be laughing. I'm like, why? She's like, I've seen you do that exact thing in public one. And anyone that's ever traveled with me at an airport as all of these people know, like I just become Ida immediately. I'm like, all right, we're lining up. Let me go, let me go, let me go check out the gate to make sure everything is on order. Where's the ticket agent? And yeah, so I, I, yeah, Ida's very much just me. And then me. he paces. And yeah. I pace, I, pace. Yeah. I can't sit still I in the airport. I watch his luggage yeah. while he paces. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I think those are those are the characters that you, we usually are. People are like, "You're really good at that one." It's like, "Oh, that's just, that's just a different part of me." Yeah. Uh, yeah. The ones that uh, people like my Bokuto. That's me on Red Bull. This is me on Red Bull. <laughs> like, I think yeah, that's where the truth comes from, and that's where like really interesting, intricate reads come from that don't feel forced or weird. So any of the ones where you're like, "You're really good at that," we probably have a bit of that in us, whatever it is. Yeah. That makes me feel like. Junko Inoshima, that's totally <laughs> who I... Panty Anarchy, that's definite. They're uh, both hilarious. They're You're fun. very funny. I wouldn't say that I'm like them, though. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like Deku is a pretty easy answer, but... Uh, uh, there's a part of me deep down that always wants to fight, and that is luck. That's where luck yeah. spawns from, yeah. Right now? <laughs> Anime is an important part of our culture. Oh, look at him tremble. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. For the parents, that's a TikTok thing. It is. It is. Hey, we only have been able to do it a few times, yeah. but it always makes me happy. Hey, what's your name? I'm Lily. I'm a huge fan. So my question is, how did y'all feel with Stain um, her Tenya's brother? How did, how did that feel? Well, it didn't hurt me. It like made me want to murder somebody. I was just really, really mad. Really mad. It did bring the vibes of the tournament down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, cra it's crazy because I mean, like, I love Tenya, and that was the first time I was like having trouble, like, like not keeping it light because he's he's a funny character. Like, he's usually in the background doing. He's he's good, but he's funny. And that was the one. Like, it got so serious that I was like, oh, I'm having the feels right now. And then when the friends show up to save him when they shouldn't, when he shouldn't have been there in the first place, they were like, oh my God, I'm going to kill them all. I didn't mean to. It's not. And I'm like, this is, wow, this got dark. Um, but I love that kind of stuff as an actor. It's so much fun to, to, to flip the switch like that and to come into the booth and be like, oh, we're going there today. <laughs> all right. All right. Didn't know this would be my day. Uh, I, I, so I hate what happened to his brother, but I love that arc so much because it's just so intense and so satisfying. Hey, what's your name? Colby. If you were in any other show, what would you be in? What, say that, say that if you could choose any other show to be in, what would you be in? You want to be in another them. show? Yeah. No. Yeah. Every yeah. single All of one. Uh -huh. All of them. All of them. Black Butler. Oh, wait, I'm already in that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fairy Tale. Oh, I'm already in that fairy one. Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that one. Yeah, I think we're in all, we're in all the other shows. Yeah. Yeah, the next uh, one. It'd be I easier. Be like, in. what show do I not want to be in? I, I, I'd like to be in My Hero a little bit more. That'd be pretty nice. <laughs> What show do you want to be in? I don't know. Okay, yeah, right, you want to be my hero. You're dressed for it. Yeah. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Finn. Uh, in my hero specifically, how long do you think you guys would uh, live as your person, your voice acting? Oh, how, how long would we live? How long do you think you would survive? Oh, not, not very long at all. <laughs> Not fair. I don't think I'd make it to episode four. Okay, I, I, I just have to say, my guy. 
survival wise if are we talking like in the real world if our characters were in here oh it's still in their world if, if yeah. you were in that world oh i have no idea <laughs> like as a person just jamie as a person oh i think i'd be fine i just find like a house in the country and let it be someone else's problem yeah you'd be fine justin would be fine really Oh, yeah, let's go with that. I, I, yeah, sure, sure. I've seen him kick butt before. <laughs> well, it's a couple Dude, broken bones, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Rachel. Hello. So you guys get asked a lot about your favorite moments, lines, things like that, but what has been some of your least favorite arcs and moments in the show? Oh, okay. It's a nice curveball question, but I don't know what to say, because what if we, like, accidentally, like, totally down on someone's, like, favorite thing? Like, I hate that thing. Oh, you like it? Never mind. Aww. No, I mean, here's the thing, and I, I don't mean to, I, I think I speak for all of us when I say, like, our job as actors is to be into it, right? Even if, if we're not necessarily the target audience for that show, because we're in our 40s, um, or 50s, or, you know, what? Shut up. Basically, it's not that old. Basically, fifty. Um, but but you know so but it's our job is to be like so uh, there's very there's very few times that we don't like something we're in because our job is to find something about it to love because it's our job to bring life to the character and if and if we can't do that then we've been miscast. So I I I can say honestly as an actor like I've never I've been in a lot of shows that I haven't seen all of because like they're not meant for me. But I'm when I'm doing them when I get the chance to you know bring a, a life to a character it's always a party like I love it and I if I didn't love it I'm in the wrong business. Well and I would add to that too like our job is really cool right and so if you are you know blessed and lucky enough to have a super cool job you don't normally go in and be like, what's the worst part about this? <laughs> you know what I mean? We're just so happy to be doing what we love and having the opportunity to perform that we don't sit and dwell on the negative. Because yeah. if we always live in a space of what could have, should have, would have, we'd never be happy with where we are. It's and it's so much better to be happy with where you are. Yeah. Usually the worst part is when it's over. Yeah. 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 Hey, what's your name? I'm Lela. Um, I have a question for you guys. If you got, if your characters had to choose to be a different superhero from a different world, like DC or Marvel, mm. which superhero would they be? A Deku's just like a stone throw away from being Spider-Man anyway. So <laughs> it might as well, might as well, like yeah. I mean, I mean, the Flash, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, yeah, or Sonic. <laughs> Sonic counts as a superhero, I think. Yeah. See, y'all, <clears throat> Shoji has to deal with a lot more crap for his quirk, so he would just like to not look in a way that would frighten people. Way to bring down the room. <laughs> if you've read Shoji's backstory, <laughs> it's a kind of a downer. Right. To be honest. So. Like, you know, obviously I want to be like the 50-foot woman or something like that. But I don't think Mount Lady would choose that. I think she would cho choose um, like Scarlet Witch or something that's really marketable so she could get the most attention for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Great question. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, what's your name? DJ. What you got? Hello. Uh, my question is, if you, like, if your character that you voice act in My Hero Academia was your IRL age, what would be their what would be their profession in your opinion? What would, besides what would, besides hero. What would be their what? Profession. Their profession. Oh, besides, Ida would be, besides yeah. hero. Oh, Ida would be a TSA agent. <laughs> one hundred percent a TSA agent. <laughs> yeah. And like the worst one, the ones that yelling at everyone when there's like two people in line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your shoes off. Put them in the bin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you set the alarm off. Go back, please. Face me this way. Like, that's, yeah. The worst. The worst TSA agent. But he get you through pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, like the professional biographer of All Might? The self-inserted uh, biographer? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just have Secrets. dirty jokes. Um... That's where I'm going to stop. I'm not even going <laughs> to. Mount Lady would be doing comic cons and <laughs> like nonstop. <laughs> She's making money, right. getting the That's fame. True. That's what she wants. That's what she'll get. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Yes. Hi. What's your name? Augusta. Hey, Augusta. What do you want to know? 
How did it feel to voice act as your character? How does it feel to voice act as your, How does it feel to voice act as your character? Fun and funny. Yes. Fun and less funny. <laughs> For you, the rest of us think it's hilarious. Fun, funny, tragic, funny, fun, tragic, fun again. It's uh, pretty cool, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. Uh, by the way, this is a really, really nice, really nice cosplay. Thank you for wearing it for us today. And there you go, great question, Yay. thank you. Hey, what's your name? Uh, my name is William, and my question is, what scene did you think paid off the most? Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty advanced question for your age. How old are you? 10. All right, right on. Uh, booty and coming. Yes. Yeah. Name a shoji scene. Thank you. I, I think all those bracelets are cutting coming. off circulation. Uh, I I think for me uh, it's it's the scene where Ida is on the exit sign telling everyone to calm down. That's when every, that's when the audience decides they like him. That's when they realize like okay he's he's one of the good guys. And so that that's that's the that's mine. I think. I like where Bakugo apologizes because I'm like finally <laughs> about, about time. Anything else you want to bring up while we're here? Yeah. <laughs> Cool, great question, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? My name is Caroline. Um, so what is your favorite like fighting uh, move that your character has ever done? <laughs> Octo blow. Woo! I know some. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the reciprocal burst because that's just doing it was the big one. Where he's like, finally, I am now engineer because I can do the thing. So it was really, really satisfying to finally say it with the conviction of his brother. Uh, double Detroit smash, anyone? Uh, Mount Lady gets real big. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Hi, my name is Cameron, and I just want to say I've been a big fan of your show since the first time I saw it, and if I remember correctly, I met some of you yesterday, not sure if you um, recognized me after that. And my first question is that one of the episodes in the dorm rooms, what was the most uh, funniest thing about it? <laughs> I wasn't in the dorm rooms. <laughs> I don't have an answer for that one. I think I think the dorm I think the whole dorm room episode is really sad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like, that's I true. just I don't I don't associate like funny with it. I just think of the sad part, so I don't have an answer. I'm sorry. There's one I think it's Tokoyami's room where they go in and it's all like hardcore and Deku's <laughs> like, This is pretty metal, man. This is cool. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna go with that. That's that's my answer. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. <laughs> Alright, pretty solid. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Hello, I'm Eric and I have a question for all of you. What is your dream voice acting role, whether it be in a, another new anime, a video game, or a live act, or animated adaptation, something that, well, never rephrase it, a jar thief. Okay. Uh, animated adaptation of something that was live action, something that you haven't done before that you really want to do. Disney villain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. Marvel hero. I want to be the ghost host at Disney's Haunted Mansion. Oh. Yes. That's my dream. I would love that all day. Foolish mortals. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll stick with Disney. I'll be like Mickey Mouse's sickly cousin. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Great question. Come on. Hi, what's your name? Courtney. Courtney. Uh, while recording, did you have any memorable line mess ups, bloopers, or behind the scene moments that stuck We out? never mess up. What yeah. are you talking about? We are professionals. Uh, it's not a, it was, it was kind of, it was more of an ad lib that they didn't use, although I really wanted Colleen to use it. It's, it's the scene where they're all disguised as thugs, their idea of thugs, and I've got the suspenders on and the stupid mustache. And, and, and what I said, I forget what the actual line was, but what I said when we came in to record was, we're just a bunch of scoundrels cruising for tricks. And I love that. I just, we laughed and I, they wouldn't use it. I'm like, but it made you laugh. It's funny to use it. And they were like, we can't, we can't have Ida saying cheers. I'm like, okay. 
the I nothing specific, but the lines from the game, the newer game, uh, cracked me up while we were recording them. And so there was just a lot of laughter as we were having a good time and, and recording those. Yeah. You've uh, kicked my butt in that game a bunch of times. I'm really yeah. good at it. Uh -huh, it's good, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like, please, more, more. Um, that's funny. I, there's a funny line, and then it's Ultra Rumble, I think it's yeah. called, something like that. Um, and there's a line when Deku will, will take you out of the game where he just shouts, like, no forgiveness! I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> None? <laughs> it's just a game. <laughs> so, that's so harsh coming from Deku, too. I know, I know it feels oh bad. <laughs> Come up. Hi, what's your name? Destiny. Oh. Um, if you, sorry. <laughs> um, when were you guys, insp when was the day you guys were inspired to become voice actors? When did you realize it was like a career? It's a career? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Tuesday. Um, I don't remember, honestly, a time before I wanted to perform. Which sounds so lame when I say it out loud. Uh, but, <laughs> but I just, it was always just something that I wanted to do. I always wanted to pursue it uh, from, you know, high school theater into, you know, getting a Bachelor of Fine Arts in theater. So it's just kind of acting and performing has always been a thing. And then I just was at the right place at the right time and got the voice acting opportunity and, and got into that. And it just slowly became a career that has turned into writing video games and directing and stuff like that. So it's just, we just kind of roll with the, we're like Mary Poppins, you know what I mean? We just go with the wind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I'm flattered that you think this is a thought through thing, but it's like, it's like a controlled fall, like, like, <laughs> Right? Like you start kind of like, like, oh, I guess I'm doing a little, oh, I'm doing more, oh my God, now I'm in these shows, and then I'm here. And it's just like, okay, because you're not going to like say no when they call you, or like, I mean, I'm going to do the next auditions, and then 20 years later, I... I mine was, so I, when I was really little, I had a speech impediment, and it was really profound, and so I didn't speak a whole lot. Don't worry, I've been making up for lost time ever since. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I had a speech pathologist uh, for several years, and she was involved in children's theater. And uh, we found through a lot of the speech exercises she had me do that I could memorize lines and say them pretty well and get around my, my speech impediment pretty well. So she encouraged me to pursue theater. She was like, hey, there's this, there's this playhouse that's putting on the Velveteen Rabbit, which was a lovely little children's play. And so she encouraged me to try out for it, and I did. And and I think being on stage in front of you know 50, 60, it wasn't it wasn't like I was playing Carnegie Hall or anything, but it was like so for the first time in my life, here I was, this like 10 year old kid, and I had something to say, and people were riveted by it, and I felt power. I felt like I I'd found my my voice literally. And after that, I was like, oh, this is this is for me. I've got to do this. Um, voice acting as a career, like specifically being behind a mic and bringing life to characters that were animated or otherwise, you know, not you know, flesh and blood, didn't become a thing until I was well into my 30s, when I realized, oh, that's a thing I could do. My whole life had been stage and a little bit of film until then, and then I had a friend, you know, that was like, hey, you're an actor, I need actors for this project I'm doing, and I was like, oh, I don't, I would, I don't know how to voice act, and he's like, it's, it's, just do it. And I listened to him, and here I am, 20 years later, and, uh, and still, still using my voice. So yeah, that was just the first time I was ever on stage saying lines. I was like, oh my God, this is me. This is who I am. Yeah. Um, yeah I got bit by the theater bug pretty early, and I knew I wanted to perform as well. Uh, but if you watched cartoons as obsessively as I did as a kid, you'd eventually realize, oh, oh all four of these shows I just watched, uh, Tom Kenny was in that. Wow. Uh, how do I do that? I want to be a cartoon character. Oh, cool. Christopher Sabat voiced 20 characters in this episode. <laughs> awesome. I want to do that. Um, so, you know, then sort of like filling in the blanks of how do I get there? What, what does it even look like to do? Um, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. There you go. Thank you. Great question. Mm -hmm. Next, coming up. Hey, what's your name? Matthew Horvath. Hello. Matthew. Hello. Okay, this is similar to one of the previous questions, but what was your favorite scene in one of the movies you were in? Favorite scene in one of the movies, one of the zero movies. Zero movies. I, th I think the majority of what I've said in the My Hero, oh, there's one where my whole line was, I wonder where Bakugo is. 
That was my entire involvement. It was like I was in the middle of doing One Piece. They're like, hey, go over to see Colleen. I'm like, oh, oh, it's a movie. Uh, it, that, that, oh, that's it? Okay, uh, bye. I, I think it was the second movie, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I had to come in and say, I had the one line where I had to say every character's name. Like, I was like, I was like doling out the responsibilities. I'm like, Aizawa, you do this, or you know, you do this, and Deku, you do this, and it was like, I'm saying all their, their full names, and like, guys, I'm here to tell you, nothing, nothing, like, just kills your read, like having to say a Japanese word in the middle of it. When you have this rhythm and you're like, oh, wait, I forgot how to say that, or I didn't tap the R correctly, because, you know, you try to get the pronunciations just right, and I couldn't. Every time I had to say a line, we'd always have to do it a second time, and we got that one line. I came in, I think Monica was directing for, for Colleen for that afternoon, and she was like, sorry, sweetie, you say all the names, and it's basically the only line you have in the movie, and I was like, son of a... <laughs> And, and, and she shows me then we preview it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, there's no way I'm going to get through this. Oh, my God. And we got through it. I did it in one take. Oh, and I was yeah. like, <laughs> I did it. And then I could not do it again. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I thought I gave it to you already. All right. Hey, what's your name? Kevin. Are y'all reading any manga right now that have not been animated? And if so, what character would you love to voice from it? No. <laughs> I'm reading One Piece. Woo! <laughs> actually, you do too, man. I love you, man. Yeah, love I, it, love I, it. I am too, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. good. It's so good. Anyway, oh, yeah, but my hero. My hero. Um, not reading any. I mean, I used to say, like, I was reading, like, the Black Butler manga, and I'm like, I'll be sort of nice if, like, there was a season that dedicated to the school arc. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's happening. I, yeah, I'm, I'm not reading any manga that isn't currently a show. <laughs> There's a real goofy one called Me and Robico that I really love. Cool. All right. Um, and uh, this, is, this is cool because they just had a trailer for it. There's a really great manga I like called Don to Don. Cool. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. It, is there one that you're reading right now that hasn't been adapted yet that we should know of? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, all right. We'll See? Cook it all right, See? there you go. Thank you, brother. Huh? Very busy. Hey. Hi, what's your name? My name is Juliet Rellis. You can call me Lee J. Uh, my uh, quirk is dream manipulation. Oh, my. All right, this is an in universe question. An in universe question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Which one, like, which dorm would you love to hang out with? And who would be, like, your dorm? Literally buddy? none of them. <laughs> none of them. I, I, I just, Pro I just hero wanna... or no hero, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just want to hang out with some of them. That'd be nice. Aww. You can't keep Tenya in a dorm. He's not to be contained. Uh, so whoever, <laughs> to say it just like that, I don't know, whoever has a track in their dorm, I'll, I'll hang with them, or a TSA checkpoint. <laughs> Wherever All Might goes, I'll follow. Aww. Wherever. Thank you, fun questions. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Ivy. Hi. Um, if you... What's your favorite anime that's not My Hero Academia? Oh God, there's so many. I, this is old school, but I love Cowboy Bebop. I just love Cowboy. It's an easy answer, with with Trigun being a very close second. One Piece. Woo! One piece <laughs> I love uh, Sergeant Frog. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in this moment, right now, because it could change in five minutes. Yeah, that's, that's, true. True. that's true. I'm going to say fairy tale. Yay. Maybe, do you have a favorite besides uh, My Hero? Um, I really like Naruto. No. Nice. There you go. Now come on, Wyatt. Oh, okay. oh. Hi, Wyatt. What's, what's your question? If you could be any other character than your character, who would you be? All Might. <laughs> Oh, one that talked. <laughs> so I'd be a mal lady. That'd be great. I, I'd be a mal lady. I would make a great mal lady. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 uh, oh. You want to be mal lady? 
I'll be Mount, I'll, I want to be Mount Lady too. Yeah, I'll just be Mount Lady. We all want to be Mount Lady. I was gonna say Mount Lady. That's so funny. <laughs> Wyatt, if you could be any of my hero character, who would you choose? Kirishima. Nice. Oh, nice. I mean, that's nice. fine. Sorry, we were looking for a Mount Lady. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Amelia. Hello. Um, the... <sighs> the UA school dance is coming up. Who is your partner? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, I don't know, who's... <laughs> no pressure or anything. I don't know, who would, eat, who would, go, with, who would go to the place with Ida? <laughs> Who wants to dance with Ida? My God, it sounds exhausting. He really, he'd be like, one, two, three, one, two, no, your foot's touching mine. Um, <laughs> wrong! Uh, <laughs> I, just, I don't know, I just, I just, I think Ida would just go by himself as like the dance instructor. <laughs> have, like, the space to like, you're too close together, you're too close together. He'd be the chaperone. The chaperone, oh, yeah. 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 He's like, Leave room for Jesus. <laughs> It's my problem. Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this seems dangerous to answer. <laughs> I'm gonna say whatever first popped into your head is what I said. <laughs> I know, same, oh my God. Wow. Uh, Mount, Mount Lady wouldn't be at the prom, she's grown. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> she's grown. She'd be a chaperone. Oh, chaperone. Oh, I would be such a bad chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll so, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could pick a dance partner, who would you pick? Jiro. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right. Nice. So okay. all right. Thank you. Great question. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Hey, I'm Camilla. I saw all of you yesterday at a couple of panels and Justin at your stand. Uh, my question is, if you could say one thing to the character that you voice or anybody, what would you say to them? Oh, to any bit character we voice? No, no, no to, to our my hero. My hero and my hero. My hero. Um, depressing stuff. Um. Hey, bud. <laughs> um, you're a good dude, and I appreciate you. And 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 your friends may not hang out with you much, and you kind of might be alone a lot. But like, um, you're a good dude. Sorry that the world made you come out looking like that, but like, <laughs> you're doing the best you can with that, and I'm so proud of you for still getting out there, and like, it, it'll get better, bud. It, it'll get better, and, and I really appreciate what you're doing for fellow heteromorphs. Um, like, that's really cool. Like, I'm sorry life's been real hard, man. Yeah, like, you want a real answer. Uh, I mean, Ida, sweetie, you gotta calm down. We love you, but just put, put the rule book away for just a second. <laughs> uh, there's this hip new thing. It's called asking for help. Give it a shot. <laughs> it's all the rage. I'd probably just give Mount Lady a yes, queen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great question. Thank you. Hey, next, come on up. Hello, what is your name? My name's Javon. Uh, this comes all the way back from a bet I had with my friend. Um, I went from season one to season five of this show, and I still despise Deku. <laughs> so right, right, okay. Well, imagine how Deku feels about you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So we established that. So what, what's the, what's the question? That's the trade question. So the question I wanted to ask is, how do you like Deku as a character? I like him just fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. He sounds like my friend Justin. I like that. I love him. What's wrong with you? I think Justin? he's great. He's the heart of the show. I, I love him. He's such a he's all of us in a way, you know? Like he's he's the character that we I think you know, the, the audience is meant to relate to. And Justin's performance is so spot on. I think you'll grow to love it. You should watch it again. And again until you love it. No, I love I love Deku. Yeah. I think he's a great creation. So I really do. So great. 
Deku's the one in the green. Are you sure you're not thinking of Bakugo? <laughs> that makes sense. That would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your oh, name? Wait, there was a Deku Stop. behind them in line. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> was it Bella? What do you have? If your if your character had a different quirk, what would it be? Any is fine. Anything to, is cool. To learn all of the other quirks and then be able. <laughs> Throwing his farts. Any other quirk. <laughs> very fast. Yeah, very fast. And Oh, all right, we are just about at time, so we have one more question, so come on up. Hi, what is your name? Ender. Hello, Ender. What would what, you like to ask? If, if you could have, like, any quirk, um, from, like, it could either be from the show or a made-up one, which one would you have? Give okay, different what, answers what your, this what time. Your, what, what would you your Let's second give different choice? answers. Those, those quirks before are taken, so what would be a second choice? Yeah, mine's called Grubhub. And, uh... I would want to teleport anywhere all the time just so I never have to set foot in another airport <laughs> in my life. I would have the ability to make politicians help us and not worry about TikTok. I want the power to answer questions as fast as these guys. I don't, I don't have that power. <laughs> uh, anything, what's up on the uh, dockets? Any projects that anybody's allowed to uh, share with us? No. <laughs> Talk to me in a couple of years. Uh, yeah. Years? Yeah, I uh, work with Gearbox yeah, 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 video yeah, games, yeah. so there's a but, delay. But, but I'm glad you're working on something. Yes, I am. Yes. Yes. I'm very excited about it. Yes. Well, we hope we're going to be doing Black Butler at some point. Well, I'm sorry. As Bardroy, I hope I'm in that. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, like, yeah. there's that. Yeah. Solo leveling. And yeah. we're always making more One Piece, baby. Yeah. Looking forward to more Black Butler. I'm looking forward mm. to the reboot of Spice and Wolf, which is one of my favorite oh, shows yeah. ever. Uh, I'm, I'm Sid in Final Fantasy uh, VII Rebirth, which is super, super fun. Woo! And some other really cool stuff that's coming out later this year that I can't talk about yet. But yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a busy, busy year. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get up to something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, GalaxyCon 2024 to everyone here in Richmond and those watching us virtually. This was the cast of My Hero Academia, and that was our time. Yay.